The state of Ohio and the city of Columbus are dropping a lawsuit that sought to stop the Columbus crew from moving to Texas. And this clears the way for a deal to transfer the team to new owners and keep the team here in Columbus. Now, Columbus City Attorney Zach Klein credits the fans for what's been called a victory for the Save the Crew movement. Only in the city of Columbus can a community rally to save a professional sports franchise from leaving. Take a look around the country. If a professional sports franchise says they're going to leave, they leave. But we stepped up, our community stepped up, and here we are today uh, dismissing the lawsuit. The group seeking to take ownership of the team starting in January includes Cleveland Browns owner Jimmy Haslam and longtime crew team doctor Peter Edwards Jr. They previously announced plans for a new stadium here in Columbus. Now, NBC4's Dan Perlman has been following this story since the very beginning. He's live now with fans who I am guessing, Dan, are very excited at this point. Yeah, you know, fans obviously very excited here at Endeavor. For 14 months, the Save the Crew leadership has met here at Endeavor. Now you can see much of the movement. Well, they are slowly making their way through the doors. This is absolutely a day to celebrate for every single Columbus Crew fan. It was October 12th. We learned the deal to keep the crew here was close. Now we can finally say the crew is saved. I've been chatting with the men and women who have fought to make this happen. They say this shows a lot about Columbus that our leaders, the team's new owners, could get this deal done as they did. This process essentially happened in, in a short period of time, seven or eight weeks. Uh, something that normally takes two years to accomplish. And Columbus did that by coming together from a city, a state, you know, community effort. Uh, and that's pretty special. And now all eyes are set on March 3rd. That is the day the Columbus crew will be back in Montfrey Stadium. Local for you in Columbus, Dan Perlman, NBC4. Definitely hear how excited fans are. Dan, thank you. Crew owners first announced they were planning to move the club to Texas back in October 2017. The Save the Crew movement was born shortly after. Then about a year ago, city officials first proposed the idea of building a new stadium to keep the crew. And then in March, the Ohio Attorney General's office filed that lawsuit against owners and Major League Soccer to keep the club here in Columbus. And Browns owner Jimmy Haslam announced in October that he and other investors had plans to buy the franchise. We'll, of course, keep you updated on what happens next here on the air and on our website, NBC4i.com.